Hello, hello everyone. It's Justin from O Sheep and uh, hope everyone's staying home safe and healthy. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's gonna be a little while longer probably before we all get to go out again and hang out with friends and family and you know, uh, play board games, which is the most important thing for us, of course, right? In this group, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm I'm already uh, I'm already missing playing board games a lot. Uh, you know, our weekly meetings uh, with my with Kenny and Chris, but uh, I figured you know, might as well uh, do a playthrough by myself of the game Run. I I reviewed it and the components of uh, a few weeks ago. And you know it's been staring at me, and I was like, you know what? I I, I just kind of I just need a little bit board game. I gotta roll the dice a little bit and uh, play around with something a little bit, right? Before I go crazy. <laughs> you know, it's been no, uh, it's been what four weeks? Almost four weeks? Could have been four months. You know, it feels the same to me right now. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's start, right? Uh, so. We're gonna have we have our board here with the awesome artwork that I discussed already in the other video, and um, we're gonna have four players, well four players, right? Um, gonna have green, blue, yellow, and pink. I'm gonna do it in that order too: green, yellow, no, yeah, green, blue, yellow, pink. Green, blue, yellow, pink. Okay, green, blue, yellow, pink. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we're gonna have uh, here the character cards. We're gonna randomize them right shuffle them up a little bit here uh, so oops uh, I like I said I actually I did a little playthrough earlier and I uh, I mean I got halfway and then the camera kind of like turned off for some reason so I did play a little bit already and it was fun so far you know I can see this being really fun in a group you know it's not as much fun be playing it by yourself of course right uh, let's take this and this and this. Right. I feel like like a game like this is because uh, it, it's it's kind of co-op, right? So you're trying to help each other, but I mean you can trip each other up too, right? And then once uh, you fall to, so it's a it's an escape game, right? So some you're, you're trying to escape this imminent peril, and um, you're trying to of course work together or not, right? Up to you. And um, and then you have also uh, uh, the the mechanic of when when you die to that imminent peril, uh, you don't really die, but you become kind of like a traitor or like you go into the enemy team and then you start fighting uh, like chasing your your team uh, like your you know your friends. Um, but I think it's really cool though where with with co because I feel like. Uh, what I realized in the in the first game through a little bit was uh, since I'm playing by myself I can kind of control every player and just you know do all of my strategy you know and I mean if you're in a group I mean it's still gonna be like that because you can communicate you can talk so I feel what would be really fun is if you have a rule where you can't communicate you know like as team players so it's just like okay you do your thing right and it's up to you if you want to save someone or not and they can't say anything or like, you know, hey, wouldn't it make more sense to, you know, help me because I'm this and that. And I just, you know, let everyone and really see how they act in an escape, like when, when you would escape from an uh, imminent peril, you know, would they like trip you up and let you, you know, <laughs> perish uh, while, it, while they're going to run away. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's start. Green is going to be Tragic the Warrior. So you can roll a d6, and um, what what he does is he fights off the peril, right? So if it's a low roll, if you have a if you roll a one or two, you're successful. If you're three or higher, then uh, you fail to help your ally, and then uh, he uh, the ally is, dies. We got Tripper the Guide. Tripper the Guide can uh, roll a d6 to avoid uh, traps. Traps are actually in the discovery deck, right? Which are here, which is the main deck that you're gonna go through during the gameplay, which has like most of the mechanics in there, right? Um, then we got Larson, the thief. He may roll a d6 to steal from any entity. Um, if you roll a 5+, plus, you steal a stored item from any entity. Um, Jack the Mule. He can store up to 3 and also receive one item from an alley every turn. So you can only store 2 items usually, but he can store 3, right? So what gets me thinking right now though, like the thief seems like 
he can steal from any entity, but uh, does the peril? The peril never gets, I don't think the peril gets anything from Discovery Deck. No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. So uh, I didn't play it wrong earlier then. So it seems like the, the thief is just like, you know, I, I mean, it could be helpful, it could not be, you know, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It's just like to clear up room, I guess, like inventory, right? So, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I I can see like I feel like it's more like a a character to screw people over not to really or like to mess with people but in a way you could kind of use it as a helpful thing though um, so let's see what we what peril we're gonna use oh the dragon <laughs> the dragon has I think a high um, yeah three stars so you know uh, medium to hard uh, he does five spaces speed and plus a ooh. Ability Dragon Riders, let's Dragon Ride. Each fallen ally rolls one dice at the start of a chase round. If the six is over, they may scourge. Which means discard any one stored card from any active player. Ooh. Wow. That's pretty bad. But he has four rounds of delay. So four rounds. So we start here. <coughs> This is the parallel approach, right? So we got one, two, three, four. He starts four rounds behind, four spaces behind the start line because he has four rounds delay. And then we're gonna start the rounds. First player is gonna draw a card from the discovery deck. We're gonna shuffle real quick because I haven't shuffled yet since I played earlier. Uh, you know, halfway and then the camera. I hope this time it doesn't happen, right? Um, I was like going, I was talking and talking. I think the camera was off for like, six minutes already or something or like 10 minutes and, and then I realized like wait, wait wait a minute where's the red light up there <laughs> so um, all right let's try um, we said green blue yellow pink so green's gonna start with drawing expendable gear humility effect used to heal narcissists but perpetually grants plus one to any dice roll per round used to heal okay perpetually I'm sorry, I'm 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 a ESL student, you know, I I am not a English native. Uh, I got to I got to look up perpetually real quick. <laughs> uh, perpetually. No way, but never ends of change. Okay, constantly. Okay. Okay, so every round basically, right? So, okay. But only if I use it to heal the narcissist. So we'll see. We might throw this. So now we roll to escape. One, we're really bad. That's a really bad roll. Um, there are actually uh, extra, extra rules here, right? So let's do this. So level one, if you roll up one, each player rolls one dice to determine effect. Oh, okay. That's at the end, at the start of the peril round, not the chase, right? The peril. Is that the chase round? Well, I'd say it's the peril round, then, right? Well, if it says peril round, that means at the start of the peril round. <laughs> when the peril does his turn. But right now, advance one delay. He's not in play yet because it's... Okay, well, let's play it that way, right? So, uh, we got to clarify that. You got to clarify that, Ben. <laughs> Yeah, to clarify uh, what the peril round means. Is that the round where, is that the same as the chase round? Or is it the round where the peril is actually in play and gets his round, right? So, okay. Um, all right, let's start here. Uh, next one, Tripper the Guide. We draw energy drink. So energy drink gives you plus one to your movement dice rolls for two rounds and then minus one. So we're gonna use that right away. I'm gonna roll three, four. So one, two, three, four. We get next one. Uh, all right, we, we get this for two rounds. We do it like this. Larson the thief. All right, draw safe bet. Well, safe bet is like okay. Uh, discard for no effect if you roll. Uh, one or two, you get minus two, but if you roll three, four, or five, six, you move that plus one. Oh, you move plus one? No, I think that's, you do the move, right? So you do three, four, five, six, and then you plus one. All right, it's not cool. Not too bad. We, we might, might as well do it right now at the start. 
since right we can't move any further right so oh we gotta use this right now all right yeah so roll the one for it so <laughs> minus two i don't think uh you can go back any further right and then we roll for the row all right six go here one two three four five six yeah all right draw for purple Fight back. If you caught by if caught by the peril, survive and move plus two from its space if you roll a five or six. Alright, cool. Next to oh okay, peril moves one up. Alright, uh wait, we didn't roll for eject move yet. My bad. One, two, three, one, two, three, here we go. Alright, next one. Black climbing rope. Add plus two to any movement. Plus one space for three rounds well plus one for space for for three rounds makes more sense right now because we guaranteed at least one two yeah three rounds so we get a plus one we will get plus three movements instead of just a plus two on any three rounds right so we're gonna use this the first round like we're gonna roll five so we six one two three four five six we get here <coughs> and then triple the guide Next turn we get a minus one. We draw. Youthful exurbance used to heal, showing your age when perpetually adds plus one to your movement. Okay, let's keep this for now, right? And then uh, we roll six plus one to so seven. So we said green blue, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Yeah, seven, right over there. All right. Um, yellow, large sun. The fee draw. All right, first character trait, resourceful. If you roll a six for your movement, draw draw another expendable gear card from the discard pile. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, ooh, from the discard pile, that's actually really good. So my camera did it again, so I guess uh, every few minutes I have to check and see uh, if it turned off and then just you know keep going from there, so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, we were talking about resourceful. So, or, uh, you know, or manipulating graveyard or discard piles, you know, I think that's always a very strong mechanic, you know, to be able to recycle resources and, uh, yeah, and, you know, manipulate them. So, uh, we drew this, now we draw, we're gonna, we're gonna roll, and he didn't have any pluses or anything, right, so, um, if I roll a six, though, okay, no, I roll a two, so this was uh, yellow, one, two we get here um yeah we had uh wait 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 no i shouldn't have plus i oh, know at the beginning of the power round so yeah we we don't have that yet so okay never mind uh we're pink with jack the mule oh we're gonna drop first draw first Team event, play instantly, escape plan. Uh, you roll a one or two, terrible plan, all allies minus one. But three, four, five, six, well done, all allies plus two. So, ah, I'm bad. So everyone minus one. Minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. There we go. Huh. Jack, you suck. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing I could have done here. Okay, so Tragic the Warrior. Uh Miracle used to recover when resume plus two. Yeah, I'm gonna give humility away and keep this. Actually no, I mean no no, this is in play. So this is like this right now. We have two stored. Um and two for three rounds. This is the second round. So we're gonna roll for green. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Now blue. Draw. Risk reward. Uh, move plus one. Or if I roll a five, four, five, six. All right, 50, 50. We take that. 50, 50. All right, I move two spaces up for blue. One, two, and then we roll. And I get a plus one. So two. And the next roll, I get a minus one. Plus, plus one, two. All right, we get here. All right, yellow, draw. Oh, here's the narcissist. 
If you draw a team event, you may add plus one space when you when using the solo option. All right, I guess uh, this thief has all these character traits now. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's roll for it. Uh, oops, I think this was here. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, six. So we got six here. Oh yeah, if I roll a six, I can draw another discovery card. Anti-Venom, used to heal snake bite, plus four, blah, blah, blah. We store this. This is just a heal. Uh, remove six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, pretty good. And purple. Let's uh, draw. Let's for Jack the Mule. It's a trap. Here we go. Your shortcut backfired, but how badly? One, two, you get a... Okay, so the higher you roll, the further you go back. But we have Tripper the Guy who can roll a d6 to avoid traps. So if I roll a 5 or 6, we good. 6, we good. Alright, Jack the Mule. I'm gonna roll. 3, 1, 2, 3. Alright. Peril moves 1 up. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Um, uh, this is last one, last round. Uh, draw for Dragic the war, repeat dice roll, force any player or peril. I think this is a lot better than humility because I don't see the thief dying so fast right now. Okay, so we do that, we give this away. This is gonna be gone now. We're gonna get a plus one on green, right? So we are at. He was here, right? Or was he here? Oh, let's put him here. One, two, three, four. Alright, we're right here. Okay, and then uh, who was it? Yeah, I think it was Tripper the guy who's gonna get minus one this turn, right? Yeah, Tripper the guy, you're getting minus one this turn. Team event, Civil War. <laughs> uh, act, all active allies must roll dice. One, two, three, minus one, four, five, six. Okay, so here, one, two, three. but four, five, six, no effect. So we get a. 3 minus 1, this is, this was green, minus 1. Then we go for blue, minus 1. Then we go for yellow, nothing happens. And then Jack the Mule, nothing happens. Yeah, and then we roll for, yeah, for Tripper the Guide, right? For 1, and we're back front 1. Now we're for yellow. Uh, we draw gear recycling. Draw an expendable gear card from the discard pile if you roll a five or six. Eh, eh, nothing I really want right now, so let's keep this for now. Uh, roll a six. Oh no, four. Four. One, two, three, four. This is where I was at earlier. Okay. Purple. Come on, get out of here. Uh, purple draw. Oh, why reframe? I can store another one. I can store four cards now for this guy. Ah. Better run faster though. One, two, three, four. Or maybe because he's carrying, but he's not carrying anything. He's not carrying anything. So you have no reason to be that slow, purple. Or uh, Jack the mule. Um, Alright, so next uh, we move the peril up one. Ooh, next turn he's gonna be in play. Alright, team event. Affect all players one or you plus three. Uh, let's do all player plus one, huh? Let's do all player plus one. We're gonna play this like a co op game here and be all nice. Alright, everyone plus one. That was nice. Isn't that nice? <laughs> uh, okay, Tragic the Warrior. One. Uh, what was it? Wow, how did yellow get so far? Um, okay, green. One. Blue. Oh, wait, 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 we draw. Lantern. Used to negate the effects of fear and darkness for two rounds. Okay. Uh, roll. Four. One, two, three, four. So I have seen the effect of uh, Fear or Darkness, I've seen like immunity for it, but I haven't seen the actual effect yet on what it does. So I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of excited to see what it does. Um, all right, Larson, let's see. Draw. 
Okay, gear recycling again. Uh, yeah, let's do the 33%, All right? Let's see. If I roll a five or six, I can get something back. No, okay. Use that. Keep this. And then we roll. Two. One, two. Now, back to uh, purple. Uh, we run. Ooh, what is this? Double the dice. Roll two dice and divide the result by two. Round up for your value. All right, let's use this. You gotta, you gotta get ahead, guy. Eight. And divide by two. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah, kind of catching up, but not great. Okay. So next turn. Uh, no. All right, he's in. So next turn, once he's on the, yeah, once he's on the, once he's on the start, he's gonna be in play the following round. So we're good. We have one more turn before. Oh wow! I mean, he's gonna catch up fast. I think the dragon. Let's see. That's when it's gonna be fun. That's that's where the fun really starts, right? Um, all right. Uh, green. Uh, draw. Fight back. Oh, I kind of want to keep that, right? So, uh, ooh, I want to keep most of these. God damn. Um, yeah, the repeat reroll. Uh, let's put this away. All right, we roll. Four. One, two, three, four. All right, trip of the guide. Yellow trap avoidance. It's the same as my ability, might as well throw it, okay. Yellow throw, six, very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. No, wait, it's supposed to be blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see that. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there we go. <laughs> That's all. Now we get to yellow. Draw, adjust the dice. Yeah, let's throw anti-venom. And then uh, you're gonna roll here. One, yellow goes one. And then purple, draw. Adjust the dice plus two, or minus two. Very good, I'm just gonna keep this. Now roll. Six, finally. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, you're not the last one anymore. Green. All right, dragon's in. It's gonna move five spaces plus one round, so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then roll. Ooh, another five. One, two, three, four, five. He's coming. All right, uh, green, draw. Ooh, adjust plus two points. All right, let's put the fight back. Yeah, I mean, fight back. I mean, that's that's your ability. We can throw that. We have the dice roll. Um, I'm gonna roll for green. Two, one, two. Okay. Getting anxious now. <laughs> Blue, draw. Character trait, courageous. You may overcome darkness or fear if your total movement equals five or more. All right. Uh, roll <coughs> two, one, two. All right, uh, yellow draw trap. Ooh, wait. you, yeah. Oh, only you fall back too. So, one, two. All right, and then purple draw repeat dice roll. Okay, we're gonna keep that. And I'm gonna roll. <laughs> Sorry, camera did it again. But uh, yeah, what what you guys missed is uh, so I rolled for purple. I moved purple, and then it was the perils turn, and um, move five spaces. I rolled a two, and I used the gear to uh, you know adjust the dice to basically a zero, so he doesn't move. The peril doesn't move, and then now we're back to. Uh, Green warrior, so let's go. Uh, this like uh, draw slickest eyes. 
all players no effect or you plus two and everyone else minus one. No, we're going to be cool. And I think I was going to talk about that too uh, right now. It's just, um, I can see this more fun being, you know, um, when you play against each other. Because right now, again, I can control everything and I'm trying to make everyone win, right? Because I'm playing everyone. And that way, also, I'm communicating kind of like, you know, hey, we're helping each other out, right? But I can totally see this being a game like, okay, Kenny, you're going to, you know, go back there and die. <laughs> you're going to perish. I'm going to get away, <laughs> you know? So, uh, I, I definitely, I think that's going to be more fun uh, with, with other players because then you're going to really have that element of PvP in here. Uh, right now, it is fun, right? Like, I, I can totally see it, but... I mean, since I do control everyone, it is kind of like, um, you know, I'm just playing by myself, right? And just moving it along the board. So definitely, um, this is not the whole gameplay, right? Like, I can totally see this being a lot more fun with more players. Um, so, again, uh, where were we? We were green. Green, he's going to draw. Character trait, the gambler. When you gamble on any card, trap, or ability, shift the odds by one in your favor. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, sorry for that noise. I'm going to roll. And we got a six. We're going to get out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And now we're going to have blue draw. It's a trap. You make a misstep and struggle to move. Um, one, two, three, don't move, four, five, six. Uh, first of all, we're gonna roll, so it's quicksand, right? First of all, we're gonna roll to avoid the trap. All right, we avoided it, pretty good. Oh, I should have used that for uh, purple earlier, or oh, yellow earlier. Ah, I totally forgot. Well, you know, you don't always have to help your ally, right? <laughs> all right, uh, it's a trap. And then now we're gonna roll for blue to get out of here. For one, two, one, two. What was actually the level two advanced play? There's also something, right? Like at the beginning of a path, it's better as before make, players make the leap from level two to three, the player must roll. Uh, am I? Oh, oh, that's oh, okay. There it is. Roll one, you fall and perish, lose all your gear, continue. Uh, okay. No, let's, let's not do the advanced rules for now. <laughs> um, where were we? Uh, we were at yellow, so yellow, expendable gear, nefarious intent, you may either steal an ally's gear or force any ally to fall back one space. Yeah, it's definitely a PvP base, you know, on, on a lot of things that I see in this deck, um, so it would be a lot more fun, so we're gonna do the gear recycling. And we get it, and then we're gonna get something back from the discard pile. And we're just gonna get something which is gonna give us plus plus movement for everyone, because you know that's because we're we're being nice, right? Yeah, let's do the team event. Everyone plus one, huh? Ooh, oh, that's gamble. We're gonna do. Three, four, five, six, and then all allies plus two. If not, we're all plus mi uh, minus one. And we good. Barely. So everyone gets plus two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And then one, two. So you gotta go to the edge and around these skulls. Huh? I mean, you could just step over these skulls, but I guess. <laughs> uh, purple. We're purple. All right, let's uh, let's see what he can do now. Self sacrifice. All players minus one. You plus two. Ls minus two. <sighs> well, we just do uh, all L all players minus one. Is there anything I can negate that? Nah. Oh well. I mean, we all got plus one though, so. So we got okay. Uh, peril. Ooh, the peril. One, two, three, four, five. He got yellow. Yellow. All right. So 
Um, yeah, so when you perish, I mean, uh, wait, the warrior can fight back. Allies place plus two from the enemy, so you may arrive if I roll a one or two. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna fight this right now. Okay, a five. Let's do repeat the dice roll. Alright, do it again. Damn, oh yeah, we do a minus two, so that's a two, so we get we place one, two up here. And then, oh, but he still has to roll, right? Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, should have done that later. Oh, well. <clears throat> okay. So he gets to roll the peril. Right? Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. But we're going to adjust the die rolls. The die roll by one. So he's one behind us. So you guys better run. Alright, uh, green. Let's draw. Adjust the die roll. Pretty good. Uh, we gonna <coughs> let's throw this away. This identity theft. Um, and roll for five. One, two, three, four, five. And then blue. Let's see what we got here. Gambling. Fifty but fifty. Discard or gamble on your next move. Okay, we gamble. Where, where is this a gamble? If I go 1, 2, 3, I, go, I get double, but 4, 5, 6, I get nothing on my next move. So, that's fine. Oh, I, I move nowhere. Oh, oh yeah, that, that would suck. Okay, 1 or 2 or 3. Yeah! So, 3. It's like a six. Why, why would I? Why would I? That makes no sense to me. Why would I risk? For I mean, uh, like let me level with you here, guys. Where if I roll a three, I double it. I get a six, right? But if I roll a six, nothing happens. So even if I move six, it's the same, right? So nothing happens. So where's the risk? Or if I roll a six, I don't move. So, wouldn't it be my interest to just discard this card? Because if I roll a three, I move three card. I, I move three, uh, three ahead. If I roll a six, I roll six ahead. So there's no risk at all. So um, I'm not sure, Ben. I gotta ask you about this one, um, or maybe you can explain it to me. Um, yeah, this, this, this double or nothing. I'm not sure how it works because the way I see it, it doesn't make sense to me to use it right on my move, right? Because on my move, like I said, if I roll a one, well, I get a two. If I roll a 2, I get a 4. When I roll a 3, I get a 6. But then I I kind of put more risk on me by not moving if I roll 4, 5, 6. And at the same time, if I just, you know, if it doesn't matter, if I roll a 3, that's the same as a 6. You know, like, and then I roll a 6, I don't move. It makes no sense to me, right? I, I should just roll normally and discard this card. So, um, something maybe to look at again. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, next one. Or I mean, I'm, I might be completely wrong about how this card works. So, you know, please, uh, I'm gonna ask you about that one. Um, where were we? We had blue. Now we're gonna go. Oh, we rolled a three, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So apparently, so there's the advanced rule, right? So if I roll a one, I would perish. If I roll two, three, I lose all. Let's do this, right? Like. Before I get to level 3, I got a 6, I'm good, continue my movement, plus I get plus 2, so 1, 2, alright, so, yellow, draw, it's a trap, fall back to, but we're gonna use the trip of the guide, 5 and 6, nah, we bad, can I adjust the roll, oh I can, yeah, 5, so we're good, we avoided this trap, and then now we better run, but even if I roll a six and the dragon, the dragon's gonna get me. What can I do? There's nothing I can do. Oh no! Oh no! All right, a five. He's gonna get me anyways. One, two, three, four, five. No. Um. Purple. Draw. Used to negate fear of darkness. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? Are the 
I haven't seen Fear of Darkness yet. Oh, five uh, up here. All right, it's gonna move five spaces. It's gonna be one right behind us. One, two, three, four, five. And <laughs> a roll of one. I'm dead. All right, okay, okay. We can't save these two. They perish now. I also kind of want to see how that's gonna work. So, do are we gonna use that right now? No, or on uh, probably on the next turn, right? So when. It's our turn, right? Any farm players will draw a player a vengeance card. No, I think they're gonna play it right now because that's in the chase round and we're still in the chase round, right? Alright, let's do it like that so it's more fun. So, we're gonna draw from the chase round, uh, from the vengeance card now. Uh, we start with yellow. Impervious. The imminent impervious shielded from any impairments for two rounds. Okay. And then uh, purple. Prior allies sh shake with you. All players fall back one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just move them back to. I mean, we might get revived, so you know you still exist. But do you still move though? Um, that's the question. All right. Uh, falling to. If your team fell, you must draw and use the draw engines card whenever possible. If you fall, carry. Uh, and all your strength will remain, but not cannot be stolen. Who knows? Maybe, maybe restored. Yeah. So okay, we just you know I, I'd say we just we don't move anymore. But <laughs> and my camera strikes again. But okay, so what I said is we're not we're not gonna move anymore. Or we should, right? Because how are we gonna pass the? Uh, I don't know. I, I I I gotta figure that. I gotta ask you, Ben, when when we get to this. Like, do I still move? When I'm event, when I when I'm perished, cause I might come back, right? And if I come back, where do I come back? Oh no, no, here, okay, you you you're basically off the board, but you know we can heal someone, so uh, yeah. So for example, yeah, 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 okay, okay, we got it, we got it, we figured it out. So if you would get revived, you would resume play. It would say on the card, right? Like for example, this one say you would. Resume play plus two ahead of the peril, which is kind of like nothing because you know. <laughs> um, so, where were we at? So, now we're at green again, right? So, green, we're gonna draw team event all active, all uh, allies must roll a dice, roll two dice, highest plus one, lowest minus two. Okay, so uh, green seven, blue. Blue gets minus two. One, two is back here. Highest gets plus one, plus one. Okay, and now we're gonna roll for green. Actually, let's uh, revive this thing, the, the ally. Let's revive, let's revive, wait, let's revive purple. One, two. Okay. And I rolled a five, right? So, four. Green, so plus one, and then we're gonna roll for the leap. All right, come on, come on, four, five, six, three. I lose all my gear. I have no gear, so I'm good. Uh, we had five, one, two. So it was uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, blue. Let's draw. Character trait: team player. If you elect team on team events, add plus two up to any cello ally of your choice. That's really nice. Um, all right, let's roll five. We're gonna roll again just to see that uh, thing. So I lose all my gear. Eh, it's all good. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. All right, so purple draw. Let's see what you got. Character trait Show, showing your age. You cannot keep up, your movement is slowed by one each round. Uh, wait, I had that uh, one where you heal that. Oh man, so character traits could be bad actually. Oh no, here, this guy had it. No? Oh, I had somewhere. Oh, you yeah, right here. Uh, if we can recycle that somehow, but well, well, let's see. Let's roll. Four. One, two, three, four. Minus one. We're here. All right, peril. One, two, three, four, five. All right, you did again. You did that, that, that up. And then we roll for a one. Okay, green, draw. 
Hail Mary. Uh, if I roll plus five, I can get minus one. If I roll a six, I roll six. No, 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 no. We're going to roll a six here. Four. Right? Would have lost a spec. One, two, three, four. Okay. Blue, draw. Character draws. Glory. Plus one to your movement. Oh, man. Okay. Roll. Four, so five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Peril. One, two, three, four, five. And then we roll for the peril. And it's a one. Green. Draw. Lunchbox. Yeah, we're going to use that. Plus one to all your die rolls. Dice rolls. One, so two. One, two. Really bad. Uh, okay, now we're going to roll four. No. Lose turn. Gear recycling. We're going to use gear recycling. For roll four, five, six. Alright, let's see what we're going to get. Uh, we're going to get... So the team event, I like that one. If I roll three plus, everyone gets plus two. Yeah, plus two. One, two, and then I roll for movement. One. Peril is coming. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, we might die. And we're all dead. I actually forgot the whole time to get the vengeance cards. Let me see what it does. You barely temper your rage for greater focus. Roll dice if to anyone else. Ooh. Long shot, okay. Yeah, I feel like it's very hard so to outrun. That's, that's actually, I thought it was actually easy at the beginning, right? Because the peril didn't come, but yeah, when it, when it came in, when that peril came in, he came in fast. Um, yeah, I mean, I wonder, you know, like, I, I'm pretty sure you gotta, I mean, I played all the, 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 the events and all the, the, the instant cards for everyone to gain, right? So, um, if I played them differently for, you know, single player, you know, everyone's trying to, like, uh, trying to win. Um, like, everyone's trying to solo it by himself to win. Then, yeah, it's definitely, I mean, it's it's winnable, for sure. Um, but then again, you know, I, I forgot the vengeance, vengeance cards the whole time just now. Um, Overall, I think it's it's gonna be a fun game to play, like in a group. Um, again, you know, uh, the way I play it right now is just like I'm trying to help, like trying to get everyone to the finish line. But that's definitely not the goal of this game. You wanna uh, play it in a way where you win by yourself, of course, right? Like I think it's it's only a single winner, right? It's not a co-op game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean. Um, I think it's it, it, it is winnable. It is actually pretty fun. I, I kind of I'm kind of bummed right now that I lost that I kind of I thought I was gonna at least get one of them through, but you know I'm a little bummed out right now because of that. But um, yeah, and then again I, I gotta ask about some of the some of the risk and reward. You know, um, I mean the guarantee makes sense for me, right? Like, uh, but the double or nothing earlier because that was not an ad additional move, right? I think. It says on my next move, right? Like, gamble on your next move, right? So you gamble one, two, three. You know, if this was an additional move, it makes sense for me, right? Like risk or reward, right? Or save back because there's a guaranteed, um, there's a guaranteed move, and then you still have your uh, turn move, right? But this affects a turn move, and that doesn't uh, that doesn't make sense to me. You know, like. Uh, yeah, if I roll one, two, three, and I get a double, four, five, six, I get nothing. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. So I, I, I would take a look at this one, at this card again, because it didn't seem like it was uh, very helpful, to be honest. So, but I do like, I, I really do like the premise behind the game and the team events. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun. I, I think there should be. Yeah, I think. I would have liked a little bit more traps, but uh, a few more traps, but I can, I mean, I think it's pretty ball balanced though. Um, that, I'm definitely going to have fun playing this with Chris and Kenny. And uh, sorry for the long video, you know, I, I think this is, this, this game should be a lot faster, right? It's, 
Well, now 15 to 45 minutes, so I'm quite in there. This is my first game, uh, like second game, right? My second run through. <laughs> and uh, so again, you know, like check it out. Uh, he's already successfully funded, uh, but it's gonna end soon. So grab your copy, pledge, right? And grab your copy, so uh, copy, so uh, you can enjoy this game as uh, as much as I did, right? I mean, I think it's really gonna be fun playing with a lot of friends. Playing by yourself, because depends, right? I mean, it's just hard to get competitive against yourself, you know, like, I'm gonna screw you over, or, you know, I, at that point I'm trying to, like, get everyone, or at least two or three players uh, to the finish line, right? But, um, yeah, if you play with more players and everyone's, like, you know, maybe cooperative, or maybe not, and you gotta tell them, like, hey, Come on, help me out, or no, please, no, I'm gonna let you perish, you know. And then grudges are gonna be born, right? Like, hey, I'm just gonna wail on you because I see the vengeance cards you can choose or pick the ally who's gonna get like minus one space and whatnot. So definitely, there's gonna be, uh, you know, there's gonna be some, uh, there are gonna be some not too happy players <laughs> and some over overly happy players in the game. But yeah, I, I think definitely check it out, you know, um, check out the Kickstarter, I'm going to put it below, and, um, you know, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.